Welcome to the Brain Mansion. Take a walk through these rooms and look at all the things there are to do. What would you choose if you came to visit? Something relaxing or something that helps your brain improve its performance? But hang on a second. Can you really make your brain work better? It is possible, at least to a certain extent. We aren't born intelligent or not intelligent. Intelligence develops as a product of genetic and environmental factors. When properly challenged, we can improve our ability to learn, solve problems and handle emotions. But how can we challenge our brains? Does brain training really work? To answer these questions, we first need to look at what brain training actually is. Brain training often involves digital programs or games that claim to exercise certain mental skills called executive functions. We use these skills every day to learn, work and manage the demands of daily life. There are three main executive functions. The first, called working memory, enables us to hold information in our minds while we perform mental tasks such as adding large numbers in our head. The second, inhibition, makes it possible for us to resist distractions and temptations. The third, cognitive flexibility, allows us to shift our attention back and forth between different tasks or perspectives. Research shows that playing games that challenge executive functions can make you faster and better at performing the tasks you practice, and sometimes even similar ones. But does practicing and excelling at one specific task translate into better performance overall, at school, at work, or in other aspects of everyday life? The answer is not necessarily. What is often marketed as effective training for your brain does not automatically improve general brain performance. Instead of training executive functions as a whole, most brain training games focus on skills or strategies that are specific to a given task. So, if you enjoy a well-designed brain training game, go ahead and play. But when it comes to training executive functions more broadly, there might be better options. In fact, we all train our brains every day without even noticing it. Whenever we do something new, something that's not part of our daily routine and demands our attention. Researchers have suggested that everyday activities such as playing outside, taking dance lessons, practicing martial arts or learning to play a musical instrument can be just as good as games at improving executive functions and perhaps even better. Generally speaking, any activity that is complex, variable and sufficiently intense and that poses a cognitive challenge may help to train the brain. These activities are even more effective when they increase in difficulty as you improve and when they inspire a strong commitment. More research is needed, but scientists suspect that such real-life activities could eventually make you better at school, in your job and at completing everyday tasks. Children's brains are particularly flexible in this regard. Scientists call this trait plasticity, the ability of the brain to adapt in response to a changing environment. This is why childhood, when the brain is still developing, is probably the best time for training. Brain development is a combination of nature and nurture. Children who receive high-quality education and stimulation get more out of their brain's potential than their peers who grow up in less stimulating environments. But even much later in life, your brain can still change in response to training. Remember, though, that there is no quick fix for improving general cognitive skills. A few minutes of practice a day is probably not enough. So, all in all, Brain training may be an attractive idea, but it does not always have the desired effect. Nevertheless, while actually training your cognitive skills is hard work, your brain is flexible and there is no harm in pushing yourself to do something outside of your comfort zone. Don't be a couch potato. Try something new that challenges your brain.